Hello students, welcome to all of you for the first chapter of class 11th and the name of the chapter is Gender Bias. Do you know the term Gender Bias? Gender Bias is a preference or prejudice towards one gender over the other or we may say it describes the situation in which people are treated differently simply because they are male or female rather than on the basis of their individual skills or capabilities. Females are discriminating against in the spheres of health, education, employment and wage earning, domestic work and political representation. Bacheo, gender bias da arth hunda hai, ling de adhar te pakh paath. First of all, students, let's look at this picture and find the difference. How will you describe this picture? Okay, let me explain. We can see a boy is dancing or enjoying while a girl is crying. Do you know why? A person is holding a book in one hand and a broom in the other hand. And book is for the boy and broom is for the girl. This is why the boy is enjoying and the girl is crying. Yes, this is called the discrimination that is prevalent in our society. Now let's move to the chapter first of all let's know about the author the name of the author is sudha murti sudha murti who was born in 1950 is a well known social worker and author she is renowned for her noble mission of providing computer and library facilities in all government schools of Karnataka. Her stories deal with lives of common people and social issues. Pyare bachyo, is part di lekhika Sudha Murti ina da janam 1950 vich hoya o ek mashur samajik karaj karta ate lekhika hai o Karnatak de sare sarkari schoolan vich Computer ate library diya suvidhama mohaya karon lay persid hai. Usnia kahania am loka diya zindigia ate samajik mudya nal samband rak diya hun. After a degree in electrical engineering from Hubli, Sudha Murti went on to do an MTech in computer science from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. In 2006, she was awarded the Padam Shri. She is chairperson of Infosys Foundation and has successfully implemented various projects relating to poverty, elevation, education and health. Hubli to electrical engineering which degree hasil karan magro usne Indian Institute of Science Bangalore to computer science which am tech kitti. San 2006 which usnu padam shri pradan kita gya o Infosys Foundation di mukhi hai ate usne garibi nivaran sikhya ate sehat na sabandat vipin Yojnama nu safalta purvak lagu kita hai. This essay is an extract from the collection of stories How I Taught My Grandmother to Read. The book is a collection of 25 heartwarming stories from the life of the author. And in this particular essay, the writer describes how she applied for and got a job that had been advertised solely for men. A lake kahani sangre, how I taught my grandmother to read to lea gya hai, a usda ik paag hai, a kitab 
ਪੱਚੀ ਸੁਖਦਾਇਕ ਕਹਾਣੀਆਂ ਦਾ ਸੰਗ੍ਰਹਿ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਲੇਖਿਕਾ ਸੁਧਾ ਮੂਰਤੀ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਲਈਆਂ ਗਈਆਂ ਹਨ ਇਸ ਲੇਖ ਵਿਸ਼ੇਸ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੇਖਿਕਾ ਦੱਸਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਉਸਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਨੌਕਰੀ ਲਈ ਅਰਜ਼ੀ ਭੇਜੀ ਅਤੇ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਿਸ ਦਾ ਇਸ਼ਤਿਹਾਰ ਸਿਰਫ ਪੁਰਸ਼ਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਹੀ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਨਾਉ ਲੈਟਸ ਮੂਵ ਟੂ ਦ ਚੈਪਟਰ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਲੌਂਗ ਟਾਈਮ ਅਗੋ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਯੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਬ੍ਰਾਈਟ ਬੋਲਡ ਐਂਡ ਆਈਡੀਅਲਿਸਟਿਕ I was in the final year of my master's course in computer science in Bangalore then known as the Tata Institute life was full of fun and joy i did not know what helplessness or injustice meant a kafi samay pehla di gal si main naujawan ate honhar nitadak ate adarshwadi si ਮੈਂ ਬੰਗਲੌਰ ਦੇ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਇੰਸਟੀਚਿਊਟ ਆਫ ਸਾਇੰਸ ਜਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਉਸ ਸਮੇਂ ਟਾਟਾ ਇੰਸਟੀਚਿਊਟ ਦੇ ਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਜਾਣਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਸੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਪਿਊਟਰ ਵਿਗਿਆਨ ਦੇ ਮਾਸਟਰਸ ਕੋਰਸ ਦੇ ਆਖਰੀ ਸਾਲ ਦੀ ਪੜ੍ਹਾਈ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਮੌਜ ਮਸਤੀ ਨਾਲ ਭਰਪੂਰ ਸੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਤਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਲਾਚਾਰੀ ਅਤੇ ਅਨਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਕੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਬਲੀ ਦ ਏਪ੍ਰਿਲ ਆਫ 1974 Bangalore was getting warm and gulmohars were blooming at the Indian Institute of Science campus. I was the only girl in my postgraduate department and was staying at the ladies hostel. Other girls were pursuing research in different departments of science. I was looking forward to going abroad to complete a doctorate in computer science. I had been offered scholarship from universities in the US. I had not thought of taking up a job in India. E shayad 1974 de April da sama si Bangalore vich garmi vad rahi si ate IISC de ahate vich gulmohar de darakhtan upar phul aa rahe san. Main post graduate department vich ਇਕੱਲੀ ਲੜਕੀ ਸੀ ਅਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਲੜਕੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਹੋਸਟਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਹਿ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਦੂਜੀਆਂ ਲੜਕੀਆਂ ਵਿਗਿਆਨ ਦੇ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਵਿਭਾਗਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਖੋਜ ਕਾਰਜ ਕਰ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਸਨ ਮੈਂ ਕੰਪਿਊਟਰ ਵਿਗਿਆਨ ਦੇ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਦੀ ਉਪਾਧੀ ਲਈ ਆਪਣੀ ਪੜ੍ਹਾਈ ਪੂਰੀ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਵਿਦੇਸ਼ ਜਾਣ ਦੀ ਬੇਸਬਰੀ ਨਾਲ ਉਡੀਕ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੇ ਵਿਸ਼ਵ ਵਿਦਿਆਲਿਆਂ ਦੁਆਰਾ ਵਜ਼ੀਫੇ ਦੀ ਪੇਸ਼ਕਸ਼ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਭਾਰਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਨੌਕਰੀ ਕਰਨ ਬਾਰੇ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਵਨ ਡੇ ਵਾਈਲ ਔਨ ਦਿ ਵੇ ਟੂ ਮਾਈ ਹੋਸਟਲ ਫਰਮ ਆਰ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਹਾਲ ਕੰਪਲੈਕਸ ਆਈ ਸਾ ਐਨ ਇਨ ਐਡਵਰਟਾਈਜ਼ਮੈਂਟ ਔਨ ਦਿ ਨੋਟਿਸ ਬੋਰਡ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਸਟੈਂਡਰਡ ਜੌਬ ਰਿਕੁਆਇਰਮੈਂਟ ਨੋਟਿਸ ਫਰਮ ਦਿ ਫੇਮਸ ਆਟੋਮੋਬਾਈਲ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਟੈਲਕੋ ਨਾਉ ਟਾਟਾ ਮੋਟਰਸ ਇਟ ਸਟੇਟਡ ਦੈਟ ਦਿ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਰਿਕੁਆਇਰਡ ਯੰਗ bright engineers hard working and with an excellent academic background etc at the bottom was a small line lady candidates need not apply i read it and was very upset for the first time in life i was up against gender discrimination lekhika dasdi hai ki ik din lecture hall bhavan to ਆਪਣੇ ਹੋਸਟਲ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਮੈਂ ਨੋਟਿਸ ਬੋਰਡ ਉੱਪਰ ਇੱਕ ਇਸ਼ਤਿਹਾਰ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਇਹ ਇੱਕ ਖਾਸ ਨੌਕਰੀ ਲਈ ਲੋੜ ਵਾਲਾ ਇਸ਼ਤਿਹਾਰ ਸੀ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਮੋਟਰ ਕਾਰ ਬਣਾਉਣ ਵਾਲੀ ਮਸ਼ਹੂਰ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਟੈਲਕੋ ਜਿਸ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਹੁਣ ਟਾਟਾ ਮੋਟਰਸ ਹੈ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਸੀ ਇਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਹਾ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਨੂੰ ਨੌਜਵਾਨ ਹੁਸ਼ਿਆਰ ਇੰਜੀਨੀਅਰਾਂ ਜੋ ਸਖਤ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਅਤੇ ਪੜ੍ਹਾਈ ਵਿੱਚ ਉੱਤਮ ਪਿਸ਼ਟ ਭੂਮੀ ਆਦਿ ਰੱਖਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਹੋਣ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਸੀ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਹੇਠਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਛੋਟੀ ਜਿਹੀ ਲਾਈਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਇਸਤਰੀ ਉਮੀਦਵਾਰ ਅਰਜ਼ੀ ਨਾ ਭੇਜਣ ਮੈਂ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਪੜ੍ਹਿਆ ਅਤੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਦੁਖੀ ਹੋਈ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਵਾਰ ਮੈਂ ਲਿੰਗ ਪੱਖਪਾਤ ਦਾ ਸਾਹਮਣਾ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ though i was not keen on taking up the job 
I saw it as a challenge. I had done extremely well in academics, better than most of my male peers. Little did I know then that in real life academic excellence is not enough to be successful. After reading the notice, I went fuming to my room. I decided to inform the topmost person in Telco's management about the injustice the company was perpetrating. Hun lekhika dasdi hai ki paave main naukri karan de lai utsuk nahi si, main is nu ik chunauti de roop vich vekhya. Main padhai vich bahut changa kaam kita hoya si, apne zyada tar purush saathiyan to main bahut behtar si. Tad main bahut hi kaat jaan di si ki asli zindagi vich kamyaab hon lai, ਪੜਾਈ ਲਿਖਾਈ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼੍ਰੇਸ਼ਟਤਾ ਹੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਨੋਟਿਸ ਪੜਨ ਮਗਰੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਗੁੱਸੇ ਨਾਲ ਲਾਲ ਪੀਲੀ ਹੋਈ ਆਪਣੇ ਕਮਰੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਚਲੀ ਗਈ ਮੈਂ ਟੈਲਕੋ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰਬੰਧਕ ਵਰਗ ਦੇ ਸਿਖਰ ਤੇ ਬੈਠੇ ਵਿਅਕਤੀ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਅਨਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਸੂਚਿਤ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਫੈਸਲਾ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਆਈ ਗੋਟ ਅ ਪੋਸਟ ਕਾਰਡ ਐਂਡ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਟੂ ਰਾਈਟ ਬਟ देयर ਵਾਸ ਅ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ I did not know who had it telco. I thought it must be one of the Tatas. I knew JRD Tata was the head of the Tata group. I had seen his pictures in the newspapers. Actually, Sumant Mulgaukar was the company's chairman then. I took the card, addressed it to JRD and started writing. To this day I remember clearly what I wrote The great Tatas have always been pioneers They are the people who started the basic infrastructure industries in India such as iron and steel chemicals textiles and locomotives They have cared for higher education in India since 1900 and they were responsible for the establishment of the indian institute of science fortunately i study there but i'm surprised how a company such as telco is discriminating on the basis of gender lekhika sudha murti dasdi hai ki main ek postcard leya ate likhna shuru kar ditta par ek samasya si ke main nahi jandi si ਕਿ ਟੈਲਕੋ ਦਾ ਮੁਖੀਆ ਕੌਣ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਟਾਟਾ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਹੀ ਕੋਈ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਜੇ ਆਰ ਡੀ ਟਾਟਾ ਸਮੂਹ ਦਾ ਮੁਖੀਆ ਸੀ ਉਸ ਦੀਆਂ ਤਸਵੀਰਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਅਖਬਾਰਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੇਖੀਆਂ ਸਨ ਵਾਸਤਵ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੁਮੰਤ ਮੁਲਗਾਉਕਰ ਉਸ ਸਮੇਂ ਕਲ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਦਾ ਚੇਅਰਮੈਨ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਪੋਸਟ ਕਾਰਡ ਲਿਆ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਜੇ ਆਰ ਡੀ ਨੂੰ ਸੰਬੋਧਿਤ ਕੀਤਾ ਅਤੇ ਲਿਖਣਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਅੱਜ ਤੱਕ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸਪਸ਼ਟ ਰੂਪ ਨਾਲ ਯਾਦ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਕੀ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਸੀ ਮਹਾਨ ਟਾਟਾ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਦੇ ਲੋਕ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਤੋਂ ਹੀ ਰਾਹ ਦਿਖਾਉਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਇਹ ਉਹੀ ਲੋਕ ਹਨ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਭਾਰਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੁਨਿਆਦੀ ਢਾਂਚਾਗਤ ਉਦਯੋਗ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਲੋਹਾ ਅਤੇ ਇਸਪਾਤ ਰਸਾਇਣ ਦ੍ਰਵ ਕਪੜੇ ਅਤੇ ਗੱਡੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਇੰਜਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਸਾਲ 1900 ਤੋਂ ਹੀ ਉਨਾ ਨੇ ਭਾਰਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਉੱਚ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਚਿੰਤਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਅਤੇ ਉਹ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਇੰਸਟੀਚਿਊਟ ਆਫ ਸਾਇੰਸ ਦੀ ਸਥਾਪਨਾ ਲਈ ਜ਼ਿੰਮੇਵਾਰ ਸਨ ਖੁਸ਼ਕਿਸਮਤੀ ਨਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਪੜ੍ਹਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਪਰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਹੈਰਾਨੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਟੈਲਕੋ ਵਰਗੀ ਇੱਕ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਲਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਆਧਾਰ ਤੇ ਪੱਖਪਾਤ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਆਈ ਪੋਸਟਡ ਦ ਲੈਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਫੋਰਗੋਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟ less than 10 days later i received a telegram stating that i had to appear for an interview at telco's pune office at the company's expense i was taken aback by the telegram my hostel mates told me i should use the opportunity to go to pune free of cost and buy them the famous pune sarees for cheap i collected rupees 30 each from everyone who wanted a sari when i look back i feel like laughing at the reason for my going 
but back then they seemed good enough to make the trip main patthar bhej ditta ate is de bare bhul gayi 10 dina to vi kat samay to baad mainu ik daktar prapt hoyi jis vich likhya si ki main telco de pune wale daftar vich company de kharche te interview vaste hazir hona hai daktar prapt karke main hakki bakki reh gayi मेरे होस्टल के साथियों ने मैं कहा कि मैं मुफ्त विच पुणे जाने दिया मशहूर साड़ियाँ सस्ते भाते खरीद के लिया दे मौके का लाभ उठा चाहिए है मैं हर किसी तो जो भी ये साड़ी चाहता सी ती ती रुपये कट्ठे कर ले अज जो मैं मुड़ के देखती हाँ तो मेरा अपने पुणे जाने के कारण हसन दिल करता है मगर उस समय वापस आन से वो जा चंगा खासा कारण प्रतीत होया सी। नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द ग्लॉसरी ऑफ द टैक्सट वी हैव रेड द फर्स्ट वर्ड इज ब्राइट एंड इट्स मीनिंग इज इंटैलीजेंट सैकेंड इज आइडियलिस्टिक मीन्स हैविंग नोबल आइडियाज थर्ड इनजस्टिस which means unjust act fourth word is pursue it means to continue next is bold courageous sixth word is peer peer is a person of equal rank seventh is fuming which means angry next is headed means in charge next is locomotive means railway engine that pulls trains tenth word is whisper which means low quiet voice next is abolish means end a law or system next is reckon means to consider next is academics related to school or college and the last word is expense means cost now students let's do an exercise We have four options of every question. Let's choose the correct option. Our first question is name the author of the lesson. And the options are R N Tagore, B Vandana Sehgal, C Sudha Murthy, and D Kamla Das. Second question is In which college was the author studying? Options are A Thapar Engineering College B IIT Kanpur C IISC Madras and D IISC Bangalore Third question is who was Sumanth Mulgaonkar? Options are A Indian Air Force officer B cricketer C chairman of telco and D marathi play writer Fourth question is where was the author offered scholarship Options are A UK B US C UAE or D USSR And the last question is after how many days did the author get a telegram Options are A 5 B 9 C 7 or D 10 Now let's know the answers Our first question is name the author of the chapter and the answer is Sudha Murthy Second question is in which college was the author studying and answer of this is 
Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. Very nice. Third is, who was Sumant Mulgaukar? He was the chairman of Talco. Right. Fourth is, where was the author offered scholarship? Answer is, US. And the last question is, after how many days did the author get a telegram? Answer is 10. Very nice. Now let's move to another exercise. Here you have to match the words under A with their meanings under B. And the words under A are bright, injustice, bold, fuming, abolish, Whisper, idealistic. And the words under B are and a law, intelligent, angry, courageous, low, quiet voice, having noble ideas, an unjust act. Now let's have a look on the answers. Bright means intelligent. Injustice means unjust act. Bold is courageous. Fuming means angry. Abolish is to end a law. Whisper means low, quiet voice. And idealistic is having noble ideas. Very good. Now let's move to objective type questions. First question is, what was the author doing at the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore? Answer is, she was doing her master's course in computer science. Second question is, who did the writer address her postcard to? Answer is, to Mr. J.R.D. Tata. Next is, how was the author's life? Answer is, her life was full of fun and joy. Fourth question is, which advertisement did the author see on the notice board? Answer is, the advertisement was about a standard job in the famous automobile company Telco. Next question is, who started the basic infrastructure industries in India? And answer of this question is, the great Tata's. Next is, what was Tata Motors formerly known for? Answer is, Telco. Seventh question is, what was it in the advertisement that made the author very upset? Answer is a small line. Lady candidates need not apply at the bottom of the advertisement. Upset the author. Next is what telegram did the author receive from Telco? Answer is the telegram informed her to appear for an interview at Telco's Pune office at the company's expense. Next question is, why did the author's hostel mates want her to go to Pune for interview? Answer is, they wanted her to go to Pune for interview and buy from their cheap Pune saris for them. And the last question is, why did she write a postcard to Telco? Answer is, she wanted to inform the management about the injustice the company was doing. Now students, I am giving you to do a home assignment and it is a question and you have to answer it in 120 words with the help of hints given below. And the question is, Describe Sudha's life as a student at the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. And the hints are, young and bright student, 
Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, Master's Course in Computer Science, Only Girl in Postgraduate Department, Ladies Hostel, Bold and Idealistic, and Life Full of Students. There is one more assignment for you. And that is to answer the following questions in 40 to 50 words. First question is, what course was the author pursuing at the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore? I repeat, what course was the author pursuing at the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore? Second is, which advertisement did the author see on the notice board? I repeat, which advertisement did the author see on the notice board? Third question is, why did she write a postcard to Talco? Why did she write a postcard to Talco? And the last question is, what telegram did the author receive from Telco? I repeat, what telegram did the author receive from Telco? Students, we will read the remaining part of the chapter in the next session. Do you think she is able to get the job? Speculate what happened at the interview? We shall get the answers of these questions in the next session. Till then, take care and have a nice day. Thank you.